G'day folks, and thanks for joining us on Rex Hunt Fishing Adventures. Sit back and relax. <laughs> Boy, have we got a show for you. Fantastic. Wagons, ho! Oh, oh. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Oh, it's not an animal! Bang! <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Come on, old son. Oh, wow. Well, I tell you what, that is one of the most unique forms of transport, Bushy, that we've ever used. That is awful. <laughs> but the serious part is that this is the Rex Hunt Fishing Adventure Show, and you've organised this trip to Tumby Bay. Well, what have we got in store for us today? Well, we've got Jeff Wolford to yep. take us out on the investigator, and he's said. I'm going to catch the biggest snapper I've ever seen, and I hope he's right. So do I. Uh, we're going fishing, folks. Uh, wagons ho. Come on, boys, let's oh. go. There's the boat over there. Snapper on. Bit of a touch there, Bushy. Yes, Rexy. Got a snapper on, have you, mate? A little one. Got a bit of a touch there myself. Uh, oh. Ooh. That's a better one. That's a nice snapper, yours, Bushy. <laughs> uh, that's a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is a snapper. Oh, well, me. It's great to be back in South Australia. I tell you what, there's some serious fish over these southern waters, Bushy. Yeah, it looks great here. I've only had one drop and bang straight away. Straight away, was it? Yep. Yeah, well, I've got a 20-pound line on here in the old scale, so you know that's near enough to 10 kilos. So this fish, he's nothing to write home about by the standards that these people out of Tumby Bay sort of talk about. But I reckon in Victoria, you'd be sort of thinking, gee whiz, I've got a decent sort of a snapper on here in Port Phillip Bay. Well, the boys are a bit doubtful about your gear, Rexy. Well... They cast a couple of aspersions, did they? No, they didn't. They <laughs> cast about 24 aspersions on my gear. They said, what are you fishing for, Rexy? Garfish. <laughs> So I just thought, well, we'll just see whether these fantastic South Australian snapper can give the old Big V a bit of a run for their money. We're in about 25 metres of water, so it's about 80 feet in the old scale. I've got a nice bit of colour here. Wow, look at that, Bushy. Is that all right or what? That is a good start. It's a good start there for a snap, do you think? Wow, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that a beautiful looking snapper? Well. And a beautiful start to our sortie out here in the middle of Spencer Gulf. What a beautiful South Australian snapper. Can you give us that knife there, Bushy? There you go, Rexy. Very much. We won't be able to dove in there and get that particular hook. But that one there, I'm told, is a beautiful eating size. Beautiful eating size. We nearly lost the sunglasses over the size, so he can go into the bin. But what a start to our sortie a la snapper in South Australia. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. It's going to be a rough trip. Uh, a fish, that is.
feels a bit better, Rexy. Good man. Maybe he's a bit better than my starting uh, baby one. Come on. This is not a bad fish at all. Oh, come on. Hey. This is much better fish, Rexy. Oh, big plotty snapper. He's going nod, nod, nod. It's a good sign. I actually want this fish really badly because I haven't caught any big, big snapper. But I've just got to take my time, let the drag work. Hope he doesn't fall off. Or a white pointer eats him. Hey, oh, Bushy, look at the size of yours. Look at that. That's not a bad ready. Oh, I don't know whether I can lift that. Yeah, I've got him. Okay, here it comes. Yes. Whoa! Holy dog! Oh, have a look at that! Now, Bushy. That's not a bad start, Rexy. Is that the biggest snappy you've ever caught oh, in your life? 14 pounds, the biggest one, and I reckon that'd have to be close. Might be bigger. Well, I reckon give it seven kilo, <laughs> so people will just get an idea that it's 14 or 15 pound, mate. Oh. And look at the head that you caught it on. Yeah, that was a Tommy we're Rough So we're not going to muck around with fillets or pilchards. We're going to give them something substantial to eat. And they are the garbage incinerator of the sea, aren't they? Yeah, he's just been down there mopping up everything. And, oh, gee, that fought well too, Rex. It certainly you did. you still got one on there? Yeah, I've got one on there. we better have a look at Rexy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness gracious me. Take me back to Port Phillip. Take me back to Port Phillip, Flathead. Oh... Now, I think it's like shooting rats with a 12-gauge shotgun here. It's a little bit of an underkill. And, uh, but still, Jeff, our skipper today, said, well, you're going whiting fishing, are you, Rexy? And now I see what he means. I thought, oh, a few nice little skill snapper, four or five pound in the old scale. Use four or five pound whiting heads for bait over here, folks. Certainly giving us a little bit of a workout on this snapper rod. What do you reckon? We'll get in trouble. Skipper will yell at us, but it's too nice a fish. Okay, mate. <laughs> okay, there you go, Off mate. You go. Consider yourself very lucky. <laughs> and away he goes. There's that many of them here, folks. It doesn't matter. If you want one to eat, six or seven pounders, beautiful. The size limit over here, by the way, is 38 centimetres, and that's why they've got such a great fishery. In Victoria, it's 27 centimetres. They're only tiddlers here. Got to throw them back. Oh. Gee whiz, putting some pressure on this fish, but he's taken plenty of line. Wow. Oh, look at this fish here. Mate. My goodness gracious me, Bushy. How are we going to get him, though? No well, we're going to eat that one. We could gaff him if we're going to eat him. Here he comes. Oh, nice fish. Oh, no. You want to try and net him? Uh, not a Just problem. hold that, will you, Bushy? Ah, my big chance. There's a blue-breasted butterfly. <laughs> Bushy, come here. <laughs> Just get Is this the no, only no, net you've no. got on board? It's the only one I could fit in my I'll pocket. Tell you what, the all right then. <laughs> You'll fit. Will he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we. Wow, have a look at that. <laughs> now, that is a one heck of a fish. There is no doubt about that. And he's just hooked in the lip. And look at that. Wow, he was never, ever going to get off. And I can just take the hook out just like that. That's one heck of a South Australian snapper. And I tell you what, the big breeding snapper must be doing their job. I just think there's so many of these fish down here, folks, if we can afford to put a few of these back. Our skipper aboard investigator, Jeff Wolford, has certainly come good with the goods this afternoon. The change of tide in one of the deepest parts of this magnificent gulf. And how about that, folks? If that doesn't warm your blood, nothing will. Magnificent snapper. The fish of a lifetime. See you later, mate. And away he goes. Well, folks, it's the bearded burbler uh, with a new fire break and the human moustache, on location, no relation, in Spencer Gulf in South Australia, Bushy. And we've heard a lot from the locals about these local snapper. 
Well, we're on the good ship Investigator with Jeff Wolford, and he tells me there's some biggins in here. Talking about biggins, folks. 24 kilometres that way is Tumby Bay, and 24 metres that way is a sunken prawn trawler that acts as an artificial reef. We've got some serious baits, which we'll show you in a minute, but we've also got some inquiries at the back. South Australian snapper fishing. Uh, let's do it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the ride. What I've got here, Rexy, this is a funny fight. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> you are joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> what are you using, two hooks? Well, just a two-hook rig so that I can put the, a fillet or a head on with twice as much chance of hooking a fish. It's not meant to catch two, but uh, down here the kindergarten's got in the act. Look at that. There you go. Two at once. It's unreal, this place. <laughs> oh, a bit of weight there, Bushy. That's a bit of a... Is that already? Well, I think it is. Just because they sort of just rattle doesn't mean... Gee, it's going to be a little ready. pinky. <laughs> what we've done here is we're using these particular King George Whiting heads and pieces of octopus. Now, if you went to Louis down in Ackland Street of St Kilda, mate, I tell you what, I could eat 20 of these on a Saturday night at the old Greek restaurant. But what we've got to do is we've got to give them something to eat. They're very, very big fish. But if you put a small bait on, the little blokes get at it. If you put a big bait on, you see the same thing in an aquarium. You put a big piece of food down in an aquarium, and all the little fish around will go bang, 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 and the big fish will come in and go, hey, bang, that's mine. Now, we've been given the good oil that these bigger snapper over here like the head. The small ones attack the rest of the fish but the heads seem to get down through the little fellas and the big ones have a go. So we just cut our Tommy Ruff across the head and put the hook just through his mouth like that while it's closed. Just get that through there and that holds him on quite securely and they'll smell all that nice uh, blood coming out of there. Hopefully we get a big one. I realise that you can spend a lot of time on these fish on light gear and I do. I, look, I enjoy the sport of angling. You know, the rod is an extension of your arm. It's an amazing thing our skipper Jeff said, are you a cack hander? Which means in Australian, are you a left hander? And no, I'm not, I'm a right hander. The major force of my particular arm is in the right hand. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm just retrieving line with the left. So I've always tried to preach to the kids starting off in fishing, that although it might sort of feel strange, and grandpa might wind with his left hand, the true right-handed fishing reel is wound with the left hand. Oh, oh that's not bad. That. What a nice fish. Oh, about, say, six kilo again. These are serious fish. Gee, that's a nice fish. That'd have to be our dinner. You reckon? Yep. That's you reckon that's the one to eat? Oh, I think so. Wow. Whoa. Let's watch out for my sunglasses, eh? Yeah, that's the one we're going to eat, folks. I tell you what. What other country can you be out here in magnificent weather and catch one of the great true sport fish of the Southern Ocean? And go inside, sit down with a nice cool drink and cook up a storm. I tell you what, she's a bit bumpy out here tonight, but that's snapper weather. And Australia is the lucky country. And quite seriously, folks, let's defend it at all times. Keep it the way it is. It's a marvellous place to live. so much into bait preparation that we just hang the bait on the line like that. Now, you can see there that that is a long leader. If you cast it out, it will foul up above the swivel and you won't get a fish. So you've got to let it down under pressure. You can either open up the bale and feather the line with your thumb just like that, or with these bait runner reels, they're sensational. Clip over the bale and disengage the bait runner and it just goes down under sort of enough pressure to make sure that the sinker does not go down faster than the leader. And the value of that is when the sinker hits the bottom, the trace is right there with the cocktail of King George Whiting head and octopus. It's laying perfectly on the sea floor. And hopefully when the little blokes come along, big papa snapper comes and says, hey, out of the way, Junior. 
I'm gonna actually uh, have something to eat. Thank you very much. What a session. <laughs> I tell you what, next time I come over here, I'm going to be a macho man and pump a bit of iron and get a little bit fit. Because I tell you what, it's taken a little bit about sort of 40 years off my life, I reckon. Lifting and whining and pumping and grinding and bushies back into <laughs> kindergarten land. Well, I can't admit to that, oh, can I? Oh, listen, you idiot. You better get a goodie. Well, we need a goodie. We've got a beautiful box of fish, some to take home. We've got a couple of smaller ones to put on the barbecue as we chug back into Tumby Bay. Oh, look at this. Oh, I reckon that's another good eater. There oh, is, there is a lot of a us. a beautiful fish. <laughs> wow. The old King George Whiting head has done it again. And he's gone. And away he goes. Well, isn't that justice? Hey, that's 30 pound line, folks on a fish of about 15 pound in the old scale. Bushman, it's great to fish with your son, but what a fishery. What a fishery. Do we have to go home? Well, I'm <laughs> afraid we do. But special thanks to our friends here at Tumby Bay. Congratulations on your management of a marvellous whiting and snapper fishery. You're obviously doing something right, and we'll be back. Why don't you give it a go?